Okay, now we're going to program um, when our enemies get killed, uh, they can drop uh, items. Right now we have the power item and we have the health item, so we're going to work with these two. So now let's um, let's uh, select the power item and let's um, remove from the game now. Uh, let's go to our scripts folder, <coughs> scripts, item scripts, and let's make a new C -sharp script, and this uh, let's call the drop items, Oops, items. All right. So um, let's assign. Uh, well, let's see. Right now uh, we have our our enemy, our, our archer enemy right here. So let's um, select, oh, and one thing I forgot uh, is to make this a prefab. So I'm going to make this enemy a prefab, All right? And then um, our new script, the drop item, I'm going to assign this script to my enemy O2. Okay, so here we have it. Now uh, let's open our drop item script and uh, there's a new concept. Uh, we we need to make an an array. What, what is an array? An array is um, when we can put a lot of uh, a lot of objects or items or things inside of it. Uh, so let's make our uh, first uh, array is going to be a public game object so um, our array is going to contain game objects and then uh, we need to uh, make this um, these uh, braces, the square braces this square braces uh, means that uh, it's going to be an array so this array is going to be called items, okay? And then I we need a, a variable int random int. So uh, <clears throat> we're gonna program um, inside of this array. We're gonna we're gonna have the two items that we already made, and then uh, it's going to they're going to be uh, appearing uh, randomly. So save the script and let's go to unity and select our enemy too okay just wait a few seconds so here we have our new array so um, for now we're gonna say that it's going to be size 2 so we're gonna have these two game objects and we need to assign where are the prefabs we need to assign for one for the zero, the health item, and for the one is going to be our power item. Okay, now let's go to our script once again, and let's uh, make. Uh, we do not need these methods, these functions, so we're gonna make a new one. We're gonna say public void drop, right, and inside here we're gonna say okay our random int is going to be equal uh, to random dot range from 0 to our items dot length <clears throat> and we need to instan instantiate our items with the array random int okay and then uh, transform the position and quaternion what is quaternion I'm going to explain this in a minute e dot identity so uh, we use quaternion. Um, you see this uh, 
this is for our position and this is for our rotation when we use a uh, quaternion identity um, <clears throat> we call the rotation just as as it is just so the rotation the rotation <laughs> the rotation is not going to move from its initial rotation so for that we use the quaternion so let's save the script and now we need to go to um, our script let me see oh, wh what's going on here let me see okay we have um, Oh, sorry, I um, I spelled this wrong. Is length. All right, so let's say the script once again and let's see. Okay. All right, we don't have that error anymore. So now we need to go to our script of our enemy enemy two script to our enemy two health. Let's open it and let's make a new variable. This is going to be a private drop item, drop items. All right, and drop items. All right, because we need to call uh, the function from this script. So now in the start function, let's initialize. Uh, drop items is gonna be equal to get component well our drop items all right great let's save the script and let's go to our function kill enemy this one so uh, let's see uh, start routine and here we're gonna call our drop items dot drop all right okay so let's save the script and let's go to unity let's wait a second so okay now I'm going to preview the game I'm going to kill the, the enemy too so uh, we expect to see one item when the uh, random item when the enemy is killed so let's kill the enemy so okay let's go wow okay what's happened here um my player is not um get the let me see okay player Okay, okay, he's had his player health, so why? What's happening? Okay, let me see. Okay, I have this issue here, but it, uh, <laughs> here in the enemy to health, uh, it's, it's calling that um, if other attack player weapon, and we know that um, the player weapon is our own prefabs the knife prefab so this knife is <laughs> needs to be tagged with weapon with oh, why why i do not have the player weapon well i don't know but uh i'm going to make the tag so uh player weapon so attack let's make a new okay player weapon okay so with my knife okay player weapon i don't know why why this happens but okay let's go and besides let me see what happens okay and another issue um that i have seen right here is that my player is jumping very high um let, let's check the edit and um, preferences. No, sorry. Uh, edit uh, project settings and physics. Uh, okay, my gravity is now back to 9.81. I guess that when I bring the effects, um, it becomes normal again. So we need 
just to say okay minus 30 all right and that's it so uh, let's preview our game and okay it's good and let's go kill yeah. okay boom. yes okay so we have the this item right here okay so let's let's fix this issue right now let's bring right here uh, our power item so where are you prefabs folder prefabs prefabs here we have it okay so uh, let's put it right here so this is the way that our uh, our sprite is appearing so what we need to do okay let's move it right here uh, let's um, take the good brain and uh, pull it outside of the hierarchy so yes we, we're going to break the prefab no problem and our power item uh, we need to move the power item in the base something like this all right I guess that this is good and we need to move the the collider in the y-axis like this okay let's see okay all right and then let's uh, parent once again the good brain to power item okay and I'm going to erase this prefab delete okay I'm going to make a new prefab all right, so uh, let's save it and let's preview once again. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Let's uh, delete it from this scene. Okay, so let's go again. Right, there we go. And okay, boom, boom, boom okay now we have the issue with the worm so let's pick the let's fix that issue and beside I just saw one issue more but uh, now just a second let's select our health item no from the sprite here we have the sprite and let's say okay let's go to our sprite editor you can see that uh, this is the pivot the pivot point all right so we need to move the pivot into the base right here okay and I guess and apply okay so that's it but let's check the, the other issue if you see when when our player walks into the place where we had the um, our uh, our item let's see what's happened I don't know but um, okay let's see our player health let's see what is happening right here okay oh no it's good but no oh, I uh, I get confused but uh, everything is alright now let's see once again the the items right so come on come on come on come on okay. shoot me yeah okay I shoot you shoot me okay no all right yes so we have this uh, this item it's good okay you see uh, I have the life and now um, Another thing that I want to do right here is I want to assign the the item explode to our health item too. So uh, I'm gonna bring the item right here, and oh, we need <laughs> we need to to work with with the um, sphere collider, okay, right, like that. All right, and beside. I uh, okay. Well, uh, you uh, your your next assignment is going to be the 
this item to to get the, the explode uh, effect but for now I think it's good so I'm going to apply so uh, it's applied to the to the prefab I'm going to now let's see I want to see the the power item appears so die die oh again okay once again this is random so I need to do okay 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 hmm let me see what is happening right here okay let's see the object you want to instantiate is no I know why because I need to to give the the prefab once again okay all right yes so let's see it once again die monster die all right yes so uh, we have the item and let's see um, player we have right here our player health let's take it all right so right now I'm invincible all right and before we finish uh, this this chapter this section um, let's take our enemy too so I want um, that sometimes I don't want the enemy to drop items so I just mm, give four four size and in this I'm going to make none and for this I'm going to make another none okay so there go there are going to be times where when um, randomly an item appears or there are going to be times that nothing is going to appear okay so um this is it. Uh, we just finished the uh, the items chapter. So uh, in the next chapter, we're going to see uh, another kind of enemy, and we're going to work with advanced functions of our game. So I see you in the next chapter.